Hey guys, welcome back to Firewall on the Hill. My name is Matt. Today I'm pretty excited. We are headed to Raleigh, North Carolina to check out the 2023 North Carolina Farm Show. Um, yes, I'm not a farmer, but they're going to have all the tractors there. And I think that will be the best time for me to look at all the tractors in one place. Um, obviously dealerships are going to offer other things, but I'm trying to figure out what's the best tractor for me in the woodyard. Um, as y'all know, I'm on YouTube, so I watched all these YouTube videos of what I'm looking for. I've kind of narrowed it down to three tractors. Um, one being the, uh, Kubota L3901, the Coyote CK4010, and then I've been looking at the Yenmars. Um, the Yenmar is in the same price range as the Kubota. I'm looking at the, I think it's the, I can't remember what the, what the actual number for that Yenmar is, but it was a uh, 47 horsepower tractor. Um, it's in the same price range as Kubota. So really, Kubota and Yenmar are in the same area price-wise, but the Coyote is way lower. Um, but all three tractors offer what I need for the wood yard. Now, the Yenmar does have extra lifting capacity, which I really like, but then again, that price point is there. So those are the three tractors I'm going to go look at. Obviously, they're going to have way more tractors that I don't even know exist, um, which I'm excited to see. Um, one thing that I do know is this is going to be a 2023 tractor show. So all the tractors that I'm looking at are the new models of, of what I'm looking for. Um, as far as I know, none of them really change anything other than the price point and the numbers on the tractor. So the CK4010 is now the CK4020 and the Kubota L3901 is the L3902. So those are the, the, the new numbers for these machines, um, but I'm looking for last year's for the price point purpose and um, because I don't, I don't need the newest, best, and greatest, all right? Um, so yeah, so I'll take you with me. I'm just going to do a little video review, uh, nothing crazy, and we'll talk about when we get back. This is the video of the only log splitter in the building. It's technically a log processor. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back from this show. Um, I'll tell you what, guys, the technology that's out there is ridiculous. Um, I, we obviously saw tractors, and we saw lawnmowers with tracks. We saw uh, $38,000 drones that will seed uh, farmland 40 acres an hour. Like, I'm telling you, the, the, the technology out there is ridiculous. Um, but it was a great time. It was, it was awesome to see, you know, another section of 
I guess our economy growing like it's good to know that farmers are out there like learning new things using technology and all that stuff um, and it just shows how much money's out there too like holy cow but anyways we got we looked at all the tractors every brand I probably there's probably nine to ten brands I looked at um, and of course the the two main ones that I or three main ones that I was looking at uh, were there um, I talked to some of the sales reps and learned a lot of different information um, one thing about the Inmars that I didn't know about is they got their own transmission and that whole tractor is built in-house. So you know how like some tractors will take an engine from another company and then build around the engine. So for example, like for example, like uh, log splitters, you know, a lot of times these guys putting that together log splitters, they're going to put together the whole log splitter, but they're not going to work on the engines. So Yinmar works on everything. So that's really cool about that company. Um, obviously Kubota and Cody are gonna source things. So um, for the most part, they're not all in-house, um, which is not a big deal if you don't have problems. But if you do have problems, that is super nice to have. Um, the Coyote is definitely the cheapest of the bunch. Um, so I got some, some numbers. They're, they're just standard numbers. Um, for a Coyote 4010, now this was a shuttle ship, but I'm, I want hydrostatic. So this is a little different price. It was around uh, 27K. Um, the Kubota was right at 35K and then the MR was right at 35K. Um, so that price point right there is a big deal to me. Obviously I'd want the bigger, better tractor, but if I, if I can get a tractor for eight grand less, why not get that tractor? So I think I'm pretty set on the, Kubota, uh, the Coyote 4010 CK4010 it's got the lifting capacity that I need and a lot of firewood guys actually use it so I know that it's gonna work for me um, so I mean this show right here did everything I needed to do it taught me a lot about tractors and um, really showed me which one I'm looking for so at this point it's just waiting to find um, that tractor uh, and a deal um, you know I'm gonna buy from the dealership and I have a dealership looking for me right now um, because all he has is right now is a shuttle shift so once he finds the tractor that I need or want, or the tractor that I want, then I think we're gonna pull the trigger. So hopefully soon we'll have a tractor, we'll see. I mean, it might take me six months to find the tractor that I want, um, but at least I know what I want. So that's the, that's the first step in the right direction. All right guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe. We'll catch you next time.